Hey, what is going on? It's Ravenous Kells. It's been such a long time since I've actually shown you guys some beast ass sniping gameplay, as I like to think of it. Yeah, Ghost is treating me alright. I mean, it's fun when you play with a group of people, and in here I'm playing with Jeet, of course, and Segerson, if you're watching this, and uh, Austin, fire dude. <laughs> the four of us just got together and we're like, let's just team up and poop on people. So Kill Confirmed is a pretty fast paced game. So there shouldn't be times where you don't see me dying or getting kills. So I got like uh, 33 kills in this game, which is like a never with the sniper because you die a shit ton. But I only enjoy this game when I'm playing with a whole bunch of people. So. I finally felt like doing a commentary, and besides that, I'm finally alone in my room, which sounds interesting. But I miss my roommate already. Ugh, I'm just kidding. I don't miss her. I hope you hear this, Emily. Nah, she won't. <laughs> She's out doing a little partying thing while I stayed home and wrote a two-page paper about the Chinese Revolution and how it changed the Cold War, blah, blah, blah. Anyways, I'm taking four classes this quarter, and it's going to be insanely difficult because uh, I'm trying to graduate this summer so hopefully I can do that I'm pretty sure I can so I'm not gonna be trying to play too much games <laughs> scratching my head <laughs> looking sideways like oh I don't know maybe <laughs> but I do 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 have a topic for you guys so I am taking a sociology of women class and uh, last year I actually took a sociology of men so I thought it'd be pretty cool to well balance it out, you know, learn about both sexes. And there is a difference between your sex and your gender. You know, sex is you're biologically like a female or a male. There's only two options or alien. Even I'm pretty sure if aliens exist, there's either a female or male or whatever. It could be that we don't even know be something completely different just like how butterflies can see a whole bunch of different colors that we've never seen before oh you learned a fact from watching my video <laughs> so gender is basically boy girl man woman or woman since Jeed thinks I say it funny but woman and that's just a that's just a idea that we came up with of what it means to be a boy like labeling the color blue and what it means to be a girl, labeling the color pink to girl and girly things compared to boyish things and shit like that. And that's completely made up. I hope you guys know that's just a societal thing. It's completely made up. Boys don't have to like the color blue or wear the color blue. Boys don't have to feel like they need to do certain things in order to be defined as a boy or a man and same goes for women like technically man i don't have to fucking shave my legs my armpits and shit like that because in, in like the world that we're supposed to kind of be living in where humans can just be free and creative and be however they want and do whatever they want of course there's always conflict but <laughs> shit i wouldn't have to shave most women wouldn't have to and i actually do know some people who don't and I have seen girls who don't and that's pretty cool and I do know some guys that do shave so you know the whole shaving idea is a completely like random thing but it is something that's made up by society that like oh women should shave because it'll make them look less manly or oh men shouldn't shave because then they'll look like a girl that's completely made up <laughs> and what else like a whole bunch of things I can think of the whole using color like dark colors identify male personalities or even sports like oh my god I can go on forever about sports but I will save that for a different time with a different gameplay right now I want to talk about how there's a huge difference between the idea of boy and girl and I mean, type in the comment box what you think it means to be a boy or a girl. And then reflect on yourself and your answer of what you typed in the comment box. It could be based on what you're hearing from me right now, or just think really hard about it. Why you think that way? Yes, society created those things, and I'll give you more examples. <sighs> okay, things that we biologically need, I guess. <laughs> 
tampons for women, of course, pads, we need those. And you can see those as, oh, those are girl things. And like, okay, that's fine because we biologically need the, that kind of a product to, you know, prevent blood from being on the undies and yada yada yada. Okay, so men, just like how you guys have cups in sports or something to prevent you guys from getting fucking like fucked up down there. But at the same time, women's you know boobies are kind of exposed and bras don't really protect you so how come we don't have bowls or something you guys got cups but we don't got bowls i don't know because i've been elbowed somewhere around my chest and it fucking hurts like a motherfucker so why don't we have bowls maybe i don't know it's a manly thing that you guys get to protect your private parts but we don't you know women play sports too girls play sports anyways this whole idea of soap okay like soaps and deodorants shampoo let me ask you guys this when you go into a store don't you guys notice that like the labels are completely different for guys their deodorant is like old spice and it'll be like you know those manly commercials where like a guy is just hella muscular he comes out of a motorcycle like i don't know with deodorant on and he gets girls or something and he drinks beer yeah um, so if both females and males need deodorant or soaps or shampoos to, you know, have good hygiene, then how come it has to be separated? Like, those things that make us have good hygiene. How come, um, we have speed stick and then you got speed stick for ladies or ladies speed stick? If you guys haven't noticed that any kinds of products with those kinds of labeling, that's how they get to you. Yeah, I get it. It's business. But that's also how people think that that type of deodorant is for guys only. Oh, you're wearing girl deodorant. There's no such thing. Okay, there shouldn't be at least. But it does exist and I understand that it does and that kind of sucks. Because then people are worried about how they look how they act as their gender and what they use for hygiene and such and such and then you want to like people want to like shit on a guy or something for using a girl product or whatever or doing girl things and then like girls don't get respect for doing guy things or have it or playing like a guy a sport that's quote unquote seen as a guy sport like basketball or football or whatever like women get less respect and men also get made fun of for doing things that are seen as girly and those girly things are either expressing yourself or being emotional and shaving your legs i guess or using girl deodorant whatever the fuck that even means it's just a label it's a sticker there's no such thing so I want to encourage you all to reflect on your thoughts of what it means to be a boy or a girl, woman or man, whatever, and think about how you see people and try your hardest to not judge others based on like the things that they use or, you know, just because society says that that's how it is, you can totally think the opposite. Go fuck guys, go wear pink. It's like revolutionary now to wear pink. It's like awesome. It shows that you're comfortable with your masculinity. And girls, get respected for playing sports, Call of Duty, whatever it is, you know, like, you know, times are changing, and but people are still closed-minded. So I'm encouraging you all to be open-minded and to reflect on your thoughts and how you perceive things and people and our society. So I hope you guys enjoyed this game plan, this commentary. I totally love you guys now go shave your armpits and shit <laughs>